Welcome back, everyone. Max, what are you eating? Nothing. I mean, it's a macaroon, <laughs> so I'm hungry too, man. I got you. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man, I got some uh, steak and stuff. So mm. I'll be doing this a lot sometimes. <laughs> All right. Okay. So it's getting close to it's getting close to dawn i think by the time kalimat finds his way to to the inn it's this um, and, sure go ahead uh before before i uh go to the inn um yeah. <clears throat> i'm going since it's early in the morning i'm going to try to find someone who is baking baking fresh bread making some sort of some sort of breakfast that i can bring to everybody and i and since i'm I think I've been told that that Ramus might be joining us. I'll bring enough for four people. If I wasn't yeah. eating food right now in real life, I'd be so fucking pissed at you for talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So you. I mean, you can spend some. Spend some. Some silver. I think a gold would cover everybody. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah. And so you. You have like a, a bundle of uh, fresh baked bread, uh, maybe some some bacon, uh, that sort of thing, like ready. Uh, and you you picked it up from. Somewhere outside this district, because by the time you get when the when the train pulls uh, into uh, into the station here, uh, it's immediately clear to you that that this place is is on its way out. Right, it's a, a district of that's falling apart. Um, like no the one last else, stop on the track. <laughs> well, no one no one else no one else gets off at this station. Uh, there's there's no one in the station, and when you leave, there are uh, only only vagrants in the streets, despite the beauty of the the architecture the the one time uh kind of glory of the neighborhood it has long fallen into or seems to have long fallen into ruin even though we know it's only been a few weeks um there is there is a dark spirit at play here but uh yeah you you make your way to uh to the inn um and yeah you find yourself outside this this abandoned inn across the street from a walled estate that is in ruins there's a uh a, a copse of trees like a small it's not a garden. It's not a forest, but it's like a little, a little kind of miniature woodland. Uh, but it's all been burned, right? So there are all these dead trees. The smell of ash is still in the air. And at the back of the lot, you can see the crumbled ruins of a, an, an ancient manor house uh, across the street from this this inn, this traveler's inn, uh, that apparently is the the neighborhood, the area you're supposed to be. Okay. Yeah. Um... Do I know? I can pick out where they're staying. Okay. Good. Yeah. I mean, maybe there's a moment of like, really, like th this place. But yeah, this is definitely. <laughs> you're definitely in the right place. Okay. Um. I have my my sack, my backpack on my sack full of food, and I kind of survey the surroundings. Um. Just just sort of like casing the place, making like seeing, as as far as points of ingress and egress, just just as instinct, just okay. to see like if I need to. Um, make a an escape somehow, or you know that kind of thing, and look for people who might be like, you know, because this looks like a shady neighborhood. People who might be looking to stab me in the back while I'm walking around in the early morning. Yeah, make a uh, make an investigation check. Okay. You hear from the shadows. But the bread, Snakes the bread fang. is too intoxicating. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, maybe that's the thing. Maybe you take a cursory glance around and you're like, hmm, this neighborhood seems strange. And then we hear a, as your stomach grumbles mm -hmm. and your your body reminds you like, hey, maybe we should eat before we do much more looking around. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, my eyes would work better on a full stomach. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So I go, I stride up, I stride up to the inn and, uh. I I do like a knock t knock twice and and then open the door. Don't wait for like an answer. Just mm -hmm. uh, is the door is the door locked? Do you, do you guys lock the door? Is the abandonment of the neighborhood like enough? I think the door lock is broken. Like it mm. doesn't lock. Well, yeah, sure. you you probably have knocked the door open so many times that eventually it just broke, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, it got it got thaumaturgy to totally. just to, to, to nothing. Okay, <laughs> totally. Yeah, I dig it. Okay. All right, so I, I open the door and um, <clears throat> I uh, I see like a familiar sight since I've since I've been traveling with Sally Hoffa. I see since I see what I want to see, I see like like he's what looks like he's sleeping in like a yurt that is like made out of bird's nest. Yeah, have you seen you've seen Sally Hoffa's magic house before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's probably. I would assume he insists to sleep in there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I see, like, like a, like, 
like a creature of the air, like like since I'm a dragon of the air, like bird bird's nest would be like you know mm-hmm. whatever what he would be what I would see anyway. Um, okay. and I see that, so I know that I know that he's here. Um, uh, is that in like his place in the middle of the room? And these guys have actually their own rooms, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I walk in <clears throat> and uh, I go to Sully Hoffa's little domicile. And uh, is there a door or, or, or there's just an opening I can just peek in? Uh, I think if we're treating it, I guess we would treat the spell how it is. Um, I don't believe you can see into it. And there's probably a there's definitely a door that you can knock on. Okay. Well, I don't think I'll knock. I think I'll just I'll just say through the door very just very calmly. Sully. Breakfast. Would you like some breakfast? Uh from inside. Um, no, no, no. All right. Um where are the others? No, no. And then the door opens up as it gets <laughs> louder and louder. Uh, okay. And when the door opens up, you definitely get like a giant waft of smoke coming out uh, as if the room was hot boxed. And uh, mm-hmm. I see the food and uh, is is that mine? Yes, but uh, um, etiquette would demand that we rouse the others before we start eating ourselves. So if you would kindly either rouse them yourself, you know what, never mind. Just tell me where they are and I'll go rouse them. I believe upstairs. I Be careful with the soulless one. You know how they say to never meet your heroes? <clears throat> well, I bet a warm slice of bread and a couple of strips of bacon will change his heart. It always does for me. So, <clears throat> hmm. I I scamper upstairs I'll and uh, be down. Yeah, I don't wait for you to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go back inside the hut. Um, yeah, I, I could probably complete that sentence on my own as I'm walking up the stairs. Uh, so, I've, uh, are there are just two doors and I just I'll just knock on the one. First one. Doom, doom, doom. It's me. Kalimat. Breakfast. I have breakfast if you are interested. I think the first one's Berg's room. Is it mine? I was going to say, I didn't know it. All okay. right. That's fine. Uh, all right. So you say that and Berg's like, okay. All right. Um, is your friend in attendance with us this evening or this morning? Yes. All right. But, I but. It might be better if you meet him downstairs. Well, then I will leave it to you. I will set the table, and you will bring our new friend, hopefully our new friend. <laughs> and I go back downstairs, and I I uh, <clears throat> see if there's like a dust cloth or something like that, and kind of shake it out and throw it on a table if there's one, and start setting up, you know, the slices of bread and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think Berg at that, like as he leaves, like Berg just opens up the door, knocks on uh, Ramus's door. Yes. Berg, downstairs. God, that is the most beautiful sounding word ever. Oh, I'm so hungry. I thought I'd get to the point. <laughs> Thank you, Berg. You know me so well. You just hear Berg walking away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, food's here, and then you just fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess Remus uh, gets up, gets ready, makes sure he looks really good since he's about to meet someone new. So the guy look, has super polished his armor and stuff. And, uh-huh. and then walks downstairs. <clears throat> and then what do I see when I look at your character, Zeke? Um, you see... Um... I have, yeah, I'll have my hood or nothing covering my head. Um, you see, uh, I have a human face, but it uh, there's scales um, going from dark blue to light blue creeping up the back of my head. 
um, that look like dragon scales um, that come to like a widow's peak on the top of my head. Um, and uh, there's, uh, I have kind of like if you've seen an Al Ra from Final Fantasy 14, like I have um, horns coming out of the side of my jaw that kind of frame my jaw a little bit. And um, <clears throat> I am six feet, I'm six feet six, um, thin, slender, uh, uh, bright, pale blue eyes. And uh, very, like, you can tell he takes care of his, his clothes. Um, and you can tell by the, by the way he moves that, that. Uh, um, he's a woman's man. Yeah. He's a, he's Look, a ladies' man. I was man. singing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing in my head. <laughs> I didn't go there, though. Tell by the way he, he does his walk that he's a ladies' man. No time to talk. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, hello, you must be Ramos. Ramus. Ramus. Yes. Yes. Forgive me. Forgive me. Um, I'm not sure of the uh, lineage of your name, so I was unaware of how to pronounce it. I hope you forgive me. And as an offering, I bring you bacon. <laughs> oh my God! I like him already. Bacon <laughs> and are those rolls? Mm. <laughs> Fresh from the bakery, they are hot to the touch. Oh, are those those delicious fusra dough I've heard about? Um, not familiar with that. You Are die. You, you die. Special instantly. kind of death. Yeah. <laughs> Do you Ramus blow me out Don't the door? Stop, stop talking to him. He's dead. He's dead. Dan, get off the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deleting your character sheet right now. <laughs> Immediately, I fly out the door. Oh shit! <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, <clears throat> please come sit. Uh, my name is Kalimat. It is a pleasure to meet you. I've met Berg, who is. Uh, a uh, creature of few words, I would say, but when he does speak, you listen, I'm sure. Uh, and you've met Sally Hoffa, who is also, has a way with words. Um, pleasure. And I just sit down and I start passing out bread and bacon to everybody as they sit. Okay, so everybody is is in the room now, and and you've emerged from your your hut, uh, Salihafa, and I guess you're you're all like sitting down around the around the table to eat breakfast. I don't leave the hut. Uh, I never gave Berg back his uh, weapon, and that's because I'm casting identify on it and trying to learn. Yeah, I wonder if hut. I wonder if Berg would have allowed that to happen. <laughs> I never gave it back to him. And walked to the hut. He did. He did specifically say, "I get my wep my hammer back." Oh, did, no, I did grabbed you? it from you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember okay. when we were talking? I went like that and. You know, what, the moment we came in the door, actually, Berg was like, weapon uh, back now. <laughs> well, also, yeah, you could, you could, certainly you could ask him to take a look at it. Sure, but. sure. That'll be something that uh, that definitely occurs at some point. But uh, if I leave the hut uh, logistically or, or, or per the spells uh, text in the book, it goes away. So I'd, mm. I'd rather get my rest in there. So I'd probably just <laughs> they, sleep. They pass, they pass you stuff into the uh, into the hut. Yeah, potentially, or or maybe uh, Kali might know just to not bother me while I'm in there for the the time as I sleep. That's okay. up to to Kali if he says anything to me or anything like that. Okay. So the rest of you are sitting. You're sitting around the around the table. Um, Sally Hoffa stays in the in the hut. Um, what do you, uh, what do you do? What's going on? Hmm. So how did you meet Berg ex again? How did oh, Berg who, find who, you? Yeah. Who, who are you talking to? Me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I was actually, uh, tagging along with my friend, Sally, who had many, many questions. He's a, he's a man of books, uh, or I... I don't know if man's the right word. Yeah. Um, <laughs> total creature. He is a total of books. He has a wealth of knowledge and he seeks out more as he goes along. And the reason why we sought him out is, well, I'll let Sally explain because he has, um, well, it's his quest. So Sally, please, if you will, explain the reason why we are here. Uh, are you saying that into the hut? Because I'm definitely not there. <laughs> At the oh, table. you're not there? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I mean, well, he's I will, he's, I, oh. he's there, but he he's in like a little he's in his little pocket house. Yeah. Okay. It'd be funny if you um, didn't even like regard that, and you just thought he was standing there. 
<laughs> like, uh, you, you, uh, let him know. <laughs> and then it's just quiet. <clears throat> so, um, so, uh, well, uh, I will let, as soon as Sully deigns to honor us with his presence, I will let him explain why. But the how is, um, well, we met over a drink, in not so many words. Um, and uh, we were forced into a jam because our friend here has a bounty on his head, apparently. And we had to do some, some chicanery, if you will, to get out of that situation. We had to fool the magistrate into thinking that uh, I owned him or I had rights to him. <laughs> hmm. The bounty from Kukrit, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. You would be correct. He's a foul, evil man that I need to repay personally, because he'll be so surprised when he sees me still alive. Oh, is that a, is that on your agenda? Are we going to face him? <laughs> and well, he's currently he's currently a constant problem, and I don't like constant problems. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One day, I will stand over that man as the life leaves his eyes. I don't doubt that for a minute. Solly! Hurry your shell out here! Um, I your guess... friends, Our friends are talking about you, and that's rude. You're making them rude to you, so get out here. Uh, I guess I walk out, and the thing disip my my hut disappears from uh existence as i walk through it, the it lasts eight hours whether you're in it or not you can go in and out of it um, so that will you might be right it's a little bit lame if it just disappears anyways uh anyways <laughs> i walk out you don't have in and out <laughs> privileges for your own house <laughs> yeah uh yeah anyways i walk out um you guys are just sitting around the table eating Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just sat there with like, you know, whatever he, food he he brought, um, listening to them mainly. Um. All right, I I walk out and and say, Berg, would you let me study that weapon? Perhaps I can tell you more about it. I'm always interested in artifacts, and this one has quite the tail. Study how? Simply look into the item's soul. See what it has to say. Do you mean you can cast spells? <laughs> I turn and say... Spells? I, I, I look at Ramus. Of course, how else would I do such a thing? Shh! Ooh. I was just thinking, maybe I would take a walk outside, and I look, and I just make a look, like, um, you can have my bacon. My stomach is acting up. And I get up, <clears throat> and I walk to the front door, mm -hmm. and, uh, I open it slowly. Okay. And I walk out and I just kind so, of kind of lean. So okay. you push the door, you push the door open and um yeah, so you're you're moving you're moving sort of south away from the table. Uh you saw something move uh past the window on your uh like on on one side of the building uh and then you want to go you want to go out the front door and then go out and take a look. Is that the is that the plan? Yes, I, I mean, yeah, I'm going to yeah peek out the front door, and uh, as I as I have my hand on the door, uh -huh. I look at the other, I look at the people around the table, and uh, I just I do a rudimentary like military thing where it's just like, <laughs> right. like look around with your eyes, 
So you put your hand, put your hand on the door, and you, you go to push it open. And uh, when you when you do, when the door opens, I need everybody to roll initiative so I can figure out the order in which these things happen. Oh, goody gumdrops! Yeah. Okay. So uh, here, let me let me bring you over to. Um, actually, just roll it, and I'll I'll add you for now, and then we'll we'll move over to. I, I have a map ready for this, but I want to. Ho. Oh. Um, Who's ready for Berg's horrible initiative? Hey, you did good. Oh, that, that was Colin. It's not me. What? Now remember, Berg, you have you have good advantage, Berg. So it's so roll twice, right? Because you have your new level seven. Everybody is oh, wait, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Right, yeah, Adam. I don't know if it's that. a glitch, but I can see all the monsters right now and everything. Yeah, me might want to refresh. I had to refresh earlier. That's oh right. no, not even. I'm not paying even attention. Be on the, you're not even on the right page. Like, there's no way you could see anything that I'm doing right now. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah. Ramus. I like how I went from a six to an eleven. That's good. Yeah, the screen, the screen that JP is showing is the screen that everybody has. Okay, so Berg's got an eleven. Okay. I didn't really uh, see what it was, and Ramis. I didn't. I purposely didn't pay attention because I'm, I'm sporting. It's okay. I just need to know when the order in which these things are happening, and then I'll. I'll <laughs> yep. You I got gotcha. you. Okay. So so let's see. Sully Hoffa, you got a twenty. Kalimat, you got a twenty-three. Nice. Very fast. Um, and then. Ramus got a an eight. Also, oh, of course, right. it would make sense if I saw everything because, of course, danger sense. Because of course, danger sense. You just well, sense it <laughs> automatically. You don't I sense everything see around me and everyone. Perfect. Um, okay, so <laughs> there you go. And then um, let me roll for the people waiting outside, and then we'll go from there. One of those, one of those, one of these guys. Okay, all right. So yeah, I mean, you 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 startle them, Kalimat, by by seeing them and then walking outside. Um, so let me uh, let me open up the map and I'll show you because now you can see what you, what you'd be able to see. Um, so here's what's going on. Boop. So Kalimat, you open the door. And you seem to have interrupted the moments before an ambush, right? Mm -hmm. It's like whispering outside where they're like, all right, three, two, and then you open the door and they, they look, <laughs> like, look up uh, and you can, you can act. So directly in front of you, uh, you can see the priest of death who seems to be in charge of this whole shit show. And mm -hmm. he's saying to these two in splint mail next to him, these two tough looking guys, uh, he, he's counting them down. They're getting ready to, to, to move in. Um, those guys that are standing ready to, to barge in, they have uh, heavy crossbows uh, slung across their back, but they're holding long swords uh, in their hand, long curving blades, and they're, they're getting ready to, like, one's going to bash the door down, and they were going to run in, but you, you opened the door. Um, so you see that. Uh, floating next to the uh, death priest, there is a semi-transparent greenish, like, skull just kind of floating up next to him. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yeah. So you get to act first. What are you going to do when you see this? Um, <clears throat> well, the, the first thing I'm going to do is yell ambush. So okay. all of the people in the hut, uh, you know, walk out and see this. Ambush! And then if I can, like, uh, what my intentions are, are to um, pull up my hand crossbow uh -huh. And I, I don't know, like, what are your rules about, like, having ready, like, a weapon ready? Like, what my... fine. If you, you have your crossbow, you pull it out and you can fire it. And it's, okay, cool. So I'll I'll pull my cro my hand crossbow out, shoot it shoot it once at the, the guy that's directly lying in front of me, the priest, right? The priest, yep. Yep, I'll, I'll do that. And then um, I'll shut the door. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and you can make a make an attack roll on that okay. uh, on that pre. Uh, okay. Now, okay. How does um? Yeah. Okay. I'm just. Never mind. There you go. Twenty one. Okay. Great. So you pull the crossbow, fire a, a single shot. Uh, click on in the chat where it says hand crossbow plus seven. Click on hand crossbow. See how much damage you do. Okay, so you just open the door, shoot the guy in the chest, and then shut the door. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, All right. 
Yeah, so there's, you all hear, ambush! <laughs> you hear Tali might yell, yeah, ambush. There's a twang as he fires the shot, and then you hear, uh, you hear someone outside yelp, like, ah! Uh, and uh, let me roll something real quick for him. And how, so I see uh, four total out front with a skull? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, the so guy, I'll, the guy I'll... over here, the guy on the on the right, uh, is not armored as well, and he's holding a missile weapon, and he was crouched next to the window. Uh, okay. So he, he was crouched down here. You just barely see the edge of him. Okay. <clears throat> Three in the front, one by the window. All right, Sally Hoffa, it's your turn. What are you going to do? Um, he shut the door. Can I see outside and still see these people standing there? The door is shut. So well, all, I mean... all, you can see, all you can see through is... Uh, this area is a window, but this guy's crouching, so you can't see him. Uh, you can see out this window, but there's no line of sight to anyone outside. If I, if I position, okay, if I position myself and look like over here, can I see more people outside? Uh, yeah, you can see this through this window, and you could see. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, you have to be able to see from there. Uh, oh, you can see. Here, here's what I let me tell you what I'm wanting to see, and you tell me if I can. I want to see this center point right here. No, no, there's there's no way for you to see that unless you are like all the way over here. Um, that actually brings up uh, I'm, I'm, dirty, and it's there's no clear line of sight to outside. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. I haven't played uh, like a rogue very often or ever. Um, so the, the I'm still getting used to like what I can what I'm able to do. Like there's a cunning action, meaning I get a bonus action at the end of my turn. You have, you, you you move, you attack, and you have your bonus. You move, you do an action, and you have a bonus action to do something. Okay, so I can I can do that now. Uh, yeah, you could do it. You do it before Sully Huffa goes. So Sully, can you move yourself back where you where you were? Uh, yeah, sure. Because okay. what I, I mean, my my plan is to get out. What I think, like that is that a window? Uh, yes. Yep. Okay, my plan is to get out that window and and go circle around and get on the other side of them. From here, you could make a, a dash action with your bonus to get okay. 30, 30 feet, sort of like one of those squares. Um, uh, by the wall, by the wall. Uh, so yep. there's all this furniture and shit in the way, so you can't just run through it. Um, oh, but if you make please. an acrobatics, make an acrobatics check, you could do like a cool flip up onto the table and jump off of it. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> right. Fuck yeah, I'm doing that shit. If you fail, you just stop on the table. Okay. <laughs> I knew that. Six yeah, for the four bonus. So, so this, this is the equivalent of someone who's like running towards to do like a jump over a parking meter and then just bonks the parking meter and then stops. Yep. So you, you, you end up, you jump up on the table and like, oh, lose your balance a little bit. You don't get to continue your move. So you're, you're up there on the, uh, on the table. And so you can see yep. through the window, this guy crouching. Yeah. That was Wait, a big, that was a big news. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Uh, okay. So Sally Hoffa, what do you want to do? Uh, I'll, I'll just for the sake of keeping it the same, I'll move 20 feet over here and see if I can see anything out the window. Cause I would try to, and if I can't, uh, then I will hold spell or hold action and wait for the door to open so that I can see outside. And as soon as someone comes to that door, I want to cast sleep on them. I don't think you can hold a spell as an action. Um, Fuck. there there's something about, cause I know there's a feat that lets you do that. Yeah. You might be right. Um, let me see. Oh, might he be? Yeah. You basically turn something into an action. I mean, um, here's the thing with sleep is it doesn't have to be on a target. It has to be on a location. So I could just cast it at the door. Yeah, let me let me just double check readying in action. Uh, oh, here you go. When you ready a spell, you cast as normal, but hold its action. It must have a casting time of one action, and holding on to it requires concentration. That's all. That's how that works. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. What's the trigger for the ready action? Uh, the second that I see a person, I will cast it on them in their area, okay. 20 feet uh, radius. And the, the sleep spell, you said? Yeah. Uh, and since I'm holding... Well, never mind. That's... Does Tiny Hut have concentration? Nope, never mind. I was thinking it's going to disappear, but yeah, it's sleep. So I'll, I'll roll a 5d8 to let you know the hit points uh, when that door... Uh, yeah, when triggers. it happens. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you're ready to action, and uh, Berg, what are you going to do? Okay, question. Orcish Fury. That's my new thing, right? And is that like a thing that it's just... It's not something I activate. It's like a thing now that I'm... What? what your new? No, there's no new Orc thing. Um, there isn't? No, that, that's I... an op... That thing that I showed you, that's an option at level 8. The, oh, at level 8... Thing, Instinct, which I know they all sound super generic. Um, you have initiative. Uh, you have uh, yeah, I got initiative, initiative. And that's pretty much it. Yep. Okay. If you if you are surprised and not incapacitated, you can act 
but only if you rage, but you weren't surprised. So. Never mind. For some reason, I thought Berg was a uh, little late. Okay. So the entrances are, there's only one entrance, right? Right here. This like crappy door. Yeah. Uh, there are Unless windows. they went through the windows or some shit. Oh, no, there's, there's two entrances. There's the <laughs> back, the back exit out into the alley here, which is, there's a shut door there. Uh, okay. And then there's a window there and a window there and there and there. And then this is the door. And then there's another window there. Um, there is a one that goes back into the kitchen over here. And then like the yeah. pantry, you can see all the walls there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So if I move that towards here, up. they would see it probably from this sight line right here. Uh, yes. Yeah, those? Bro, okay. You can, you can see a, a shape. Consider the windows like mostly opaque just with like grime, but you can see no. a shape. Okay. All right. I think Berg will probably move right here um, and ready in action for if this, if this door opens, you know, uh, <clears throat> and somebody enters the space. Um, would it be possible to, to like hold off rage? Like as soon as he sees somebody that's within attack rage, he goes rage and then. Uh, no, you, you have to rage now. You have to rage now. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Um, it means you'll have to get hit before your next turn. I don't want to waste the rage. No, I'm just going to move um, right here. Okay. Okay, so you run over there. And then you want to ready in action. Ready in action of just attack whoever steps within range. Yeah, step, someone steps in the, the area. Okay. Uh, Ramus? Um, I think Ramus will uh, cast Bless on me, Berg, and uh, Kalamot. Okay. Three of us. Okay. Sounds good. And then Ramus will move back behind the bar here to snipe anyone that comes in the door. And that's all I can do. Okay. Great. Um, can you put bless in the can you cast bless in the into the bar or the chat or whatever in the oh, sure. roll twenty? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. So your your attackers take action. Um so the first one uh, bursts into the uh, into the door, um, and let's see. He does sleep go off, or does it go at the end of his turn? Um, no, it goes as soon as you see him. So he kicks the door out and, and then bursts into the room, uh, and then you cast sleep. All right. Uh, Can you link it in the link in the chat too? Yeah. Um... That's the roll of HP, which is kind of low. How do I just link that into the... Oh, right, because you've got the effect. I, I got it here. I can link okay. it. Okay, yeah. So I'll just paste it. That's okay. It's so, <laughs> so the spell sends creatures into a magical slumber. 5d8 is the total number of hit points affected. Creatures within 20 feet of the point are affected in ascending order of their current hit points. Your spell does nothing. There is, there, it's, there's no one with 21 or less hit points in that space. Okay. Fuck. It's a decent roll too. All right. We yeah. get drowsy for a second and then just not. Yeah. So what does your what does your spell look like when you when you <laughs> cast your your turtle sleep? Um. I think just a. I mean, it's gonna be lame as shit because nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> so. Uh, I, think, I mean, it's not It's not like it just does nothing. Like, it, it starts to affect the, the person who barges in and they manage to shake it off. You, like, do the drowsy thing where you're like... Mm. <laughs> right, right. Um, no, I think I just I slam the staff down uh, in front of me, and um, from the tip of it, you see kind of almost like fog uh, start to to waft over into that area uh, to mm. see if it goes inside. If it was to put them to sleep, but they would kind of breathe it in, uh, breathe the mm. smoke in, but it just dissipates in front of them. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this, uh, yeah, this guy, he comes into the room, and then uh, I think, so that was, what, uh, 10 feet of his move. Um, he finishes his move over by the table, uh, takes cover behind it, and he fires his uh, crossbow. Now, is your is your hut opaque or transparent? Like, can we shoot through it, or is it like a physical block? Um, I just pasted it into the chat. It is immobile dome of force. Uh, okay, cool. No one, no one can shoot through or or around it as long as it's there. Huh? 
Is he able to just move right past me, even though I was my he held never, action was, he was never in a he was never in a square next to you. Okay, so if I was right there, it yes. would have been fine. Mm -hmm. So we're doing that. That's that's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the hut is in the way, which means the, the only in the details. He, which means the only target he can see is Ramus. Uh, Ramus, you said you were behind the bar, so you also have cover. Mm -hmm. um, so your AC is up by two, I think, <clears> in this case, which is like half half cover, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let me double check. Because you you and him have the same amount of cover, yeah, half cover up to your uh, up to your chest. Uh, okay, all right. So he's gonna shoot his crossbow at you. He gets uh, one shot if he's shooting with the crossbow. Uh, what's your armor class? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. So heavy crossbow fires once, uh, and uh, I'll roll for bless, but it doesn't really matter because he can't get high enough to hit you. Okay. All right. So he fires. Uh, it flies past you and thunk. Crossbow coral hits the hits the wall. Uh, the second veteran follows, uh, comes into the room, and I think this one will go after, this one will go into, into melee with you, Burke. So you can go ahead and attack that guy. Thank you. All right, here we go. Whoop. Uh, yeah, yeah, you get him. Yep. Yeah, he's got good armor, but he's still... Four, 15, and then second attack. Okay. Ah, the second That's one's a so yeah, even much. with even with bless, same deal. Yeah. Okay, so he finishes his move. You you swing out with a hammer. It crashes into his armor, uh, and he uh, he finishes the the move, and then takes two quick swings with his uh, sword. Yeah, uh, fuck you. I got fifteen AC. He's probably first gonna hit. one hits you for eight. Great. Second attack hits you for twelve. All right, so two quick slashes drives you back against the wall. Um, <sighs> You, um, Kalimat, you feel Berg's blood like splash onto you from the side as this guy slashes twice. Okay. <gasps> okay. Uh, cool. And that's the two veterans. Um, and then you hear the breaking of glass as from some of the other windows, uh, the rest of the the rest of the goon squad starts taking their actions. So this guy steps out. In front of the window, this guy uh, opens the door, so he's he's like outside, but sees in. Um, and then uh, out here, the the guy by the window breaks that window. Um, so now there are, there are three of them, uh, and uh, Ramus, two of them shoot at you uh, with heavy crossbows, uh, and then this one, <laughs> the one over here, I think, stands up and takes a swing at Kalimat with his. Uh, he's got a, a mace through the window. He broke. He broke the window. Oh, okay, so broke it. Gotcha, it's like swinging gotcha, gotcha. through the window. I'll give the first one that shoots at me disadvantage by using one warding flare. Okay. All right. So there's yeah two here. Um, you don't have cover against them because they're shooting past the bar. But so what's the the first one is disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the first shot disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. No problem. He blinded for a second. He shoots at the ceiling, uh, and the second one takes a shot with his crossbow. And I get a uh, 13, so he misses as well. So two shots fly past you. They're all firing at you in the in the room, but you're able to duck and dodge out of the way, no problem. <clears throat> uh, they finish their move by stepping back uh, into uh, into the into the shadows. Um, and then the third one, uh, this guy stands up, smashes the window, and I think he just like takes like three quick swings at whatever the shape is beyond the window. So the first one breaks the glass, and then the other two are, are swings at you. Um, but you have some cover, right? He doesn't have your whole body to swing at. So your armor class is 18 for these attacks. So one attack. Uh, hit for eight. Okay. Um, does that, the uncanny dodge, does that bust yes. that down to four? You can reduce it down to four if you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So just, yeah, just angry to smash, smash, breaks the, breaks the window. Glass flies in. The first swing connects, but you managed to dodge mostly out of the way. Uh, the second one, he just swings wildly. Um, and then, uh, I think he, hmm, I think he'll probably, uh, he'll probably stay to fight you because he's still got half cover <clears throat> from, from everything that's inside. Uh, okay. And then lastly, the, uh, priest is going to move his magic floating skull into the room. So through the broken glass, the floating skull flies in shrieking and tries to bite at you, uh, Kalimat. Uh, so 
Here it comes. Uh, hits you for three force damage. Okay. Uh, and that's his bonus action. And then his regular action. Uh, now, does that, does that, okay. Because Uncanny Dad says when attacker that you can see hits you with an attack. Once, it's once per, like, round. It's your reaction, right? Oh, okay, cool. Okay, no problem. Yeah, and so you, you just use it on what you think is going to be the biggest. Gotcha. You use your reaction, so now you don't have any other reactions you can do. Gotcha. Um, this guy, uh, yeah, he, he disappears out of line of sight, the, the priest. After that, he commands his, uh, yeah, commands his action, so he's going to just use the rest of his turn to do some stuff out of sight of the rest of you. Okay, great. Um, Kalimat, it is your turn. Okay, um, I am going to, let's see, I can, I can, okay, so I can attack and then move, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, so okay. here's the thing, if you, if you move, um, these two, you're currently being threatened by these two guys. So if you want to not get attacked as you move, you have to take the dis uh, the disengage action. Right, the cunning action. You can use your cunning action to disengage. Yep. Okay, cool. So my this is my intention. Uh, okay. What I want to do is um, uh, sneak attack the one that's on top of Berg, since he's uh, within since Berg is within five feet of me. I can do a sneak attack as long as Berg isn't, you know, yeah, uh, incapacitated. Attack that one, and if you if you hit him, you get to do your sneak attack damage. Yep. Yeah, do that rogue shit. Yep, yep, that's what I'm doing. Yep, exactly. Um, okay. And then uh, I'm going to do my my cunning action to disengage and, um, and can... move somewhere. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Okay, cool. So uh, start, start with your attack. Uh, go ahead and attack with uh, your regular weapon on that guy. Okay, uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do the short sword. Okay. Okay. Come on. So you draw your short sword, lunge out with an attack. Now you don't hit with that fourteen, but you have the blessing of the tower. Yeah. Uh, so roll, roll that d four. Okay. Slash, roll d four. Yeah. One d four. Or slash r space d four. Sixteen. Uh, that is almost enough, but not Damn quite. It. Okay. Yeah. So he, uh, yeah, his, his yeah, armor plus, is, is plus. strong. That was blessed. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I used my. The, <laughs> That's the me joining in late. You have got blessed. Oh, blessed. Blessed. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, chat. Yeah, I got thanks, you. <laughs> Seven seconds too late. Uh, so you. You didn't you even know out. I was role playing as them, Adam. That's how good and, it was. And the, the tip of your short sword cuts a, a groove in his armor, but doesn't doesn't hit him. Um, so you did that. Now you can take the disengage action, uh, um, and then and then you can move. Well, since since I didn't hit him. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Hold on one second here. Oops. Oh, that's <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, once per turn. Okay. Since I didn't hit him, um, I'm trying to think of what what the most tactically advantageous thing would be to do. Yeah. So um, and also it. not to leave fucking Berg out in the lurch and just get ganked. Mm -hmm. um, He's about to go rage mode, so. Okay, so I will, I'll just move to, like, like the other side of him. Okay. And like, uh, yeah. Just yeah. Agent move? Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. Switch to the other, the other tool. There you go. Okay, great. So nimbly dodge between uh, Berg and, and his opponent, take a slash at him, and then end up, yeah, on the other side. Yep, uh, and so then um, I will, let's see here, the Master of Tactics uh, used my help as a bonus action. I'm going to uh, help. Disengage was your bonus action. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. That's cunning. That's cunning action. Yeah. Done, done. Okay. Uh, Sally? Um, so... Uh, I will cast uh, Fog Cloud in this corner over here. Um, but I'm waiting on Dan, and we can probably just talk about this out loud. I didn't want to... Uh, uh, okay, never mind. I just read what you said. I will cast it at a uh, level one. So it's a 20-foot radius, uh, Adam. 
so 40 feet across. Uh, but I basically just want to cover this entire corner, like right here. Okay, let me grab a, I'll grab a token and we'll drop it in there and you can, you Place can show it. me. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you said it's 20 feet? Yeah, 20 feet, Harold. Is it? Come on. Oh, level one. Uh, cast to level one. Yes, there you go. Uh, so 20 foot radius of fog centered on the point within range. Spear uh, spreads around corners and uh, the area is heavily obscured. It lasts for the duration. So 20, until... foot, 20 foot radius means 40, 40 feet, feet all the way across. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And where, where's the center? Just in this corner, basically, on top of this guy and on top of those two windows. Okay. And does it go? Let me read here. So it spreads around corners. Okay. So it's magic. So it doesn't really matter where it's placed. So, like, yeah. there? Yeah, that works. Okay. All right. Uh, heavy, heavy obscurity. Uh, no one can see through it or into it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, the uh, the fog that was supposed to be sleep kind of reforms in the air and wafts over into the corner. Oh, cool. So it's not even like a separate spell. It's like you just change yeah. it and it becomes thicker and, and travels to the side of the room. Yep. Nice. Okay, do you want to move? Um, I assume this is a door leading into another room. Yeah, it leads into, like, the latrine. I will uh, basically just, like, one kick that door open, hopefully, okay. and then just walk uh, into it and stay, like, here for cover right behind the door. Okay. Do you do you let the door shut? No. Okay, so the door, you, you hold the door open? Uh, Yeah. I mean, if it, if it has hinges or whatever that's automatically going to shut it, then, yeah. That would be funny, though. It swings, both, it swings both directions. Yeah. So you're you turtling like... up? Yeah, I'm just gonna go in there. Yeah, I'll just let it shut then. I'll put. My it would have been more of a turtle up kind of thing if he, let, like I was saying, it'd be funny if he went into the bathroom and just shut the door. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean that's that's I mean, what that, is happening. That's what's happening. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. If, so, the, so if, the door, if the door if the door hinges back and forth, then yeah, it shuts. Yep. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, Berg, it is your turn. Berg's gonna rage. Bergzerker. <clears throat> okay. And fuck up this person. Hopefully. I still okay. don't. I still hate how I don't get the three right out the gate. It sucks. Okay, there you go. All right, so and bonus attack. action to Berserk, and then you have two attacks. Do I get that off the beginning, though? Because I don't think I do. You just get two. You get your normal two barbarian attacks. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not the third. I thought you were saying it. No, because the third oh. one comes from a bonus oh. action. Hallelujah! Oh. Right. <laughs> you fill with rage, lash out with your weapon. All right. Uh, whop. And then okay. what is the, the crit again? Uh, it's already there. Well, uh, it's oh, it's already in there. Your fork, right? So you get another D8, right? <laughs> I think is how that works. Uh, so roll good. one D8. I, I don't know. It's on your character sheet. Oh, let me see. Mm. Yes, uh, one additional yeah. die. So one additional D8. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's been a while since I've credited as Berg. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking hell, man. Nice. Okay. And that's just the first attack. <laughs> All right. So twelve. 14, 15, 16, 19 bludgeoning, and then another 6 necrotic. 6 necrotic, which I get back for life. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. 6. Fantastic. <clears throat> and second attack. Nice. Since this is all happening uh, in like 6 seconds of each other, the door is probably <clears throat> still swinging open and closed, and I just see Berg yeah. like murdering <clears throat> something, but it's almost in like stop motion as the door is blocking the view. Yeah, I... To paint it a little bit, since this is the first time you're 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 seeing Berg rage, like you just see like Berg like f air wafting around him and almost like some sort of like you know orangish glow coming from him, um, and <laughs> you see that, and then the next time you see it, it opens and you it's accompanied with. <laughs> I could probably like that. hear that with the door being closed. That's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah just fucking hammering away at him. I think That's I. Another... Uh, 11, 14. Two more necrotic. 15, yep. Okay. All right. So, yeah, just like smashing to two, two hard weapon hits into his uh, into his body. And, uh, yeah, he staggers. I think he staggers back into into you, Kalima. Like, he's this guy that's getting pummeled is between you, and he gets smashed back into you. Um, and, uh, Ramus, it is your turn. Uh, I would like to... What I want to do is move down here and then climb on the bar and jump right down like jump jump off and slide to the to the back side 
that, okay, that, make a make an acrobatics check. Okay. Uh, four. <laughs> All right. So you you can describe you can describe how you end up in this position, but you are now in that spot and you are prone. Uh, what what is this? Ramus tries to leap the bar. What happens? Uh, Ramus uh, jumps onto the bar, but we haven't cleaned it in a long time, so there's a lot of wetness on it. So I just I jump off and then slide right on my ass. Um, yeah. to the other side. The boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay. The door swings open, and I just see Ramus laying there on his ass. <laughs> okay. Now you then, you only moved you only moved what like. 15 actually yeah you're you could uh you move 15 feet yeah you, you actually don't have enough movement left to stand up unless you take your action to stand but you're like okay, lying so, on your back on the floor so i'll be lying on my back and then i'll cast my spell uh, on the <laughs> okay. floor yeah <laughs> um i will uh cast a spiritual weapon um to okay. the right of that guy right by the table there okay, let me fetch your spiritual weapon all right, uh, and it's you can summon it within sixty feet of yourself. Yep, yep. There you go. Go ahead and swing at that guy. Um, I have still a bless, so D four is thirteen yeah. enough. Nope, it is not. And then I will uh, use my action to cast Sacred Flame, which he just has to do a Dex save. Okay. All right. Uh, no problem. Yeah. Got a 19. Nailed it. You you scorched the floor. Yeah, I think that the casting I cast it as I was hitting my ass on the floor, so <laughs> it, like that's why it missed. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. Uh, so Berg, the veteran that you are currently uh, in combat with, takes two swings at you. Hits you for four. Oh, and then. That's a crit. Oh, thank uh, you. The second swing is uh, not a crit, but uh, yeah, but misses you. Let me make sure. Let me roll the bless. Uh, 14, uh, 16. So yeah, that second one does hit you. So you take uh, two damage from the first hit after your, your rage, and then another uh, four after, after rage reduces it. Uh, so that's that first one. Uh, the one that's stuck in the fog cloud. Which I'm seen. muted. Where are you getting the 16 from that, that second one? Bless. Uh, or sorry, 14. Yeah, 12 plus yeah, 2. Yeah, that so doesn't doesn't. Hit. yeah, just barely. Okay. Uh, and then the second one uh, gets up from behind the table because now there's fog and shit. Uh, runs out of the fog. And this one attacks you twice, Berg. And with that long sword, here we go. One. Uh, and that's a... <clears throat> that one's a 15. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he's me for five. It's you for five. And the second one is a 14. Okay, so lots of near misses. If you hit that second one, I was going to be like, yo, fuck your blessed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so the two of them are just, yeah, swinging at you, and uh, they're, they're, they're going for blood. Um, and then, that's their turn. Uh, and then the... Uh, yeah, the other guys in the fog cloud, they're going to need to figure out what the hell to do with themselves. So let me let me move them around. And then here, this guy. Okay, all right. So those two move, and then there's one in the window here. And he is going to climb into the, he's going to climb into the room. Climbs over the windowsill, doesn't have cover anymore. And Berg, he's going to attack you as well. Now he has pack tactics, so he has advantage on these. So two two mace attacks at advantage. Uh, one for four, and two. a second one for six. Three. Yeah, so two and then three. So the three of them, and you can see, like, Kelly Ma, the, these guys have pinned Berg in <clears throat> and are just, like, hammering away at him with their weapons, trying to bring him down. Uh, and uh, yeah, they seem they seem pretty desperate to to finish him off. Um, and then the uh, the the priest who's been lurking around outside, he's gonna oh. move. Uh, he's gonna move his sacred uh, his blessed weapon here. So the the skull flies over and takes its swing at uh, at Max. I like how 
everything is just ignored. <laughs> yeah, just, they're just piling, piling on. on. <laughs> so this, this it would make one, sense if I'm there, you know. There. Berg, this one hits you, and you take the full two from it because it's force, not uh, bludgeoning. Ooh. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> so the skull just passes through you and like pushes you against the wall, uh, leaves bruises and and cuts. Uh, and then the priest is actually going to get to take his his proper turn, um, and he's going to cast a spell. Um, so we see you see him for a moment. He he comes to the window, breaks the window, so you can see inside. Um, and then from here, he's going to cast a spell on Kalimat. Uh, Kalimat, can you make a, a wisdom saving throw, please? Dexterity, you mean? No, wisdom. <laughs> I wish. Uh, oh, oh, that it were. <clears throat> Okay, wisdom saving throw. Yes, please. Okay. One. Okay. Woo. Nice. All right. So you're you're unaffected by his spell. Uh, you feel for a moment your muscles like tense up, and uh, and you can't uh, like you, you feel your your you, your body start to seize up, and then you're able to to shake free of it, uh, and you're you're freed. Uh, okay. And then this goofball uh, moves back into the shadows again because he's a coward. All right, cool. So we're at the top of uh, we're at the top of the round. Uh, do you want to take a break here, and we'll finish this when we get back? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. All right, cool. Let's take our uh, final break here on week fifty-two of Court of Swords. We'll be right back, and uh, like Adam said, we'll finish this battle. Hopefully, hopefully Max right. doesn't die. <laughs> so we'll <laughs> He'll be right. fine. He'll be I'm fine. doing okay right now. I'm I fine. got him. Okay, good, good. All <clears> right. Plus, I regen too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, we will be right back after this. We'll see you then. <laughs> 